How's it going guys, Romeo here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to restore to iOS 7.1.2. This one is running iOS 8. And iOS 8 is a great operating system. I do love the new iOS 8. But uh, for some reason, you know, it, let's say you wanted to go back just because uh, you missed your jailbreak tweaks and, you know, there's no jailbreak for iOS 8. So definitely you can go ahead and uh, do this so you can go back to 7.1.2 and that way you can jailbreak and get all your tweaks back. A few disclaimers, I do want to let you know that uh, this works as of today, check the date below. Um, Apple is going to be patching this pretty soon so they're not going to be seeding iOS 7.1.2 anymore. So in the future, this method might not work. So check your check the date. Make sure that you're within the the range. Um, what usually happens is whenever there's a new update, they give it about three months, and then they stop seeding the 7.1.2. So on your computer, what you want to do is you want to search, uh, go to Google and search for iPhone firmware. Uh, whenever you do that, then what you want to do is you want to like search for 7.1.2 um, one of the website one of these websites is going to have the uh, IPSW file that's what you need so you know you you have it when it's an IPSW file you can you definitely go ahead and check this website out and go ahead and support that website go go to that website and just download the file it doesn't matter where you get it from as long as you get the 7.1.2 a IPSW file. Now you do want to look for iPhone 5S. Well, that's what we're doing today. That's the iPhone 5S. Then, whenever you click on your IPSW file, it's going to start downloading your file. Uh, I'm downloading the one for AT&T. Uh, notice that when you download a file, it usually says a global, but you should be able to see your carrier and you should be able to see your. Uh, pretty much your model, which is in this case is the 5S. So I'll be back when it's downloaded. Now the next step uh, is to go ahead and just plug it into your computer. And uh, to show you that I am on iOS 8, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go into settings. And if you go to general, about, you can see it right there. version 8.0. Plug it in, just put it on the FU mode, hold down the home button and the lock button for about 10 seconds. So let me do that right now. And then release the uh, top, the lock button, and then just keep holding the other button for another five seconds. And then you'll notice here on iTunes that uh, your phone is going to be in recovery mode or DFU mode. Um, so what you want to do now is you want to click on option, just hold the key option and then click on restore iPhone. And then it will give you a folder so you can look for the IPSW. So mine is saved in my desktop so I'm going to go ahead and look for that right now. But yeah, one, whenever you have the uh, P IPSW, just go ahead and locate the file and whenever you locate the file, go ahead and click open. All right, so um, we're back to 7.1.2. Let me uh, go ahead and show you now. As you can see right there, 7.1.2.
If you guys have any other questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Peace.